what's up guys welcome back to afro black gossip something has just emerged and of course this was finally answer the reason why Senzo's life was taken away now we all know Senzo was married and he wasn't just married he was married to the woman he called the love of his life yet his mother knew about this and of course the family also knew about this but everyone was doubting the reason why Senzo would decide to go chase another woman for sure, men are always those kind of people that we always want to have so many women all around us. And as you see, to some extent, it feels normal. And many a times have we noticed men always tending to have this attitude, right? Now, there is something that made Senzo Swai very annoyed. And it's all the reason because of Senzo Mehiwa. Why did he actually choose in doing this? Information getting to our table says that Senzo had already wanted to make Kelly his wife. Well, we are not quite sure if it's the second wife, but information getting to our table notes that Kelly Kumalo was the woman he really wanted to marry. Well, if you're new here, kindly subscribe and let's do this. So the former Orlando Pirates number one Senzo Meiwa, who played a pivotal role in helping the club reach the second CFA Champions League in 2013, was caught in one of the juiciest love triangles of all time before his tragic passing on October 26, 2014. Inzuri, as he was affectionately known, was heavily married to his longtime sweetheart, Madisa Nkaise, who previously worked as an HR officer at NetBank, and he was having an affair with renowned songwriter and singer Kelly Kumalo. This week, Kelly Kumalo's sister, Zandile Kumalo Gmede, who is a witness on the trial case of the late rapper, dropped a huge bombshell where she revealed that the former Orlando Pirates JC No. 1 believed in polygamy and he wanted to make the hit maker Kelly Kumalo his second wife. On Friday evening, one of the leading publications in South Africa reported that Zandile Kumalo Gumede recently revealed that the late Orlando Pirates goalkeeper and her sister had a beautiful relationship to the point that he wanted to make her his second wife. In addition, it is a further reported that the two long-time league winner with Orlando Pirates and his celebrity girlfriend Kelly Kumalo were staying together in Morbarton before the fateful night when his life was taken away at her family home in Vos. Laurels. Did you know, according to Senzo Meiwa's player profile on German website Transfer Market, the product of the Orlando Youth Academy had enjoyed a meteoric rise to prominence during his time of his passing and had a seven-digit market value. According to the same source, the former Orlando Pirates goalkeeper had a market value of approximately 350,000 euros, which is almost equivalent to like seven. 0.35 million rands in terms of South African currency. So sad his life was taken away. And right now, information coming up says that the first wife, Madisa, or should I say the then first wife, Madisa, was very mad at this decision. Senzo promised her true love. Senzo promised that she would be the only woman in his life and forever they will live happily ever after. But that was really taking a turn when Senzo started going out with the lady Kelly Kumalo. Less affection was shown to her. She spent less time with the husband. And of course, it became very disturbing and worrying as well. To the point where she had also sent some armed men to go beat up Kelly Kumalo. This is not the first time or the second time it is said that Madisa had done this. Unfortunately, that fateful night when Senzo's life was taken away, well, allegedly, it is said that she was the one, Mandisa was the one who sent those armed men to actually come take away the life of Kelly Kumalo. But unfortunately, Senzo Meiwa took the bullet for Kelly Kumalo. I should say again that this information is just alleged news and we are not quite sure of it. But to some extent, I should say it also makes sense. And I should say it was not a nice thing for Senzo to promise the first wife full monogamy and then he suddenly brings Kelly Kumalo into the picture yes we men are sometimes very polygamous by nature but don't make such promises when it comes to women because they easily go emotional now the trial is underway it has been postponed to June 12 and we'll be waiting for the next testimonies but for now the new bombshell is all about what had happened and the inconsistencies in Zandile Kumalo's testimony.